We are recording after the Minnesota Timberwolves absolutely obliterated the Denver Nuggets for the second straight game. Minnesota has come out in this series and done the impossible. They have slowed down the Denver Nuggets on offense. Minnesota looks like a team that was born to play the Denver Nuggets, and they didn't even have Rudy Gobert tonight. Carl Anthony Towns is doing enough on Jokic to make life really hard on him. Minnesota has size to throw at Jokic between Cat, Nas Reed, Rudy Gobert, Kyle Anderson. They have size to throw at Jokic way more than almost any other team in the league. And then they also have size and great defenders to throw at Jamal Murray, whether that be McDaniels, Anthony Edwards himself, Mike Conley is the same size as him, just a little bit bigger, and Akeel Alexander-Walker off the bench. All of those guys are legitimate good defenders that absolutely give Jamal Murray a hard time. They're picking him up 94 feet. They're making him work for absolutely everything. You can see it. He is frustrated. He is tired. He is annoyed. Maybe that calf is still bothering him a little bit, but they have totally thrown the Denver Nuggets off their game completely, and everybody is now in a different role. The Nuggets are not used to both Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic being shut down offensively, and that's what it feels like. So now it's on Michael Porter Jr. to create an attack, and that's not his game. It's on Aaron Gordon to be able to break a defender down from the outside, and that's not his game, although he played very well tonight. Catavius Caldwell-Pope is a D and 3 player. He is not going to do much else for you. He is excellent in that role. It is amazing what Minnesota has done. They have gone up 2-0 in Denver, heading back home Friday night. And all of the shooting stats tells the same story, all right? Nikola Jokic, 5 of 13 for only 16 points. Jamal Murray, 3 of 18 for 8 points. That's not going to get it done. No way. Aaron Gordon has a great game, 8 of 14, 3 of 5 from 3, which is not his game. He has 20 points. Michael Porter Jr., 1 of 7 from 3. And Catavius Caldwell-Poe, only 0 of 2 from 3. If those are your numbers, you're not going to win. But it's not just they had an off night. It was Minnesota absolutely destroying every single one of their sets and blowing it up from the start. They brought help exactly when you need to bring help to where it makes Jokic stuck. It makes Jamal Murray stuck. They can't find the open man. You have the great help side defense. You got the great backside defense being ready to pick off the long pass that is open if that guy is out of position. But they've just been in position all night. They've been bringing the doubles at the exact same time. They've been helping off of their assignments at the exact moment you need to in order to not let Jokic make a play they're putting on a clinic and I don't think anybody else in the NBA has the personnel to do what they are doing to the Denver Nuggets because you got to have enough size to throw at Jamal Murray and still have size left over for Nikola Jokic and then the Timberwolves are also playing very well offensively all right two main scorers tonight Anthony Edwards 11 of 17 for 27 points and Carl Anthony Towns 10 of 15 for 27 points. So both of those guys go for 27 very, very efficiently. Nas Reed, 5 of 14, but 4 of 8 from 3 for 14 points. Those were your main scores. Seems like everybody was getting into the action, hitting a 3 or 2 tonight. Everybody was getting it done on the offensive end. Again, I think I've brought this up like eight times now, but the one question mark for Minnesota, and the reason a lot of people a lot smarter than me were thinking that Minnesota was not going to get this done in the playoffs is because their crunch time offense was atrocious in the regular season. Last five minutes of a close game, it was Anthony Edwards or bust. And Anthony Edwards didn't quite seem to have all the answers in those situations. Whenever he gets doubled, where does he go with the ball who does he pass it to can that guy make a play for minnesota to get them a bucket late whenever they need it most so far it hasn't been a problem now minnesota hasn't played a lot of tight games minnesota hasn't needed those tight game clutch buckets out of anybody they've just been blowing everybody out but that's nice to see they're finishing these teams off, although it not be in clutch time as the NBA keeps stats of it. They are closing these guys out in the fourth quarter. They are closing guys out in the second half. 
they have absolutely been fantastic on both ends of the floor. They didn't even have Rudy Gobert tonight. So they were working off of different rotations. They were working on different assignments, and they are still able to absolutely dominate the Nuggets tonight. Some of you might be making jokes that Rudy Gobert actually doesn't matter. That's, that is a take. That is a fair take after tonight. But you have to admit that Rudy Gobert is fantastic at what he does. We knew the Minnesota Timberwolves were going to throw Cat on Jokic so that Rudy Gobert can do his best work roaming around, being able to help when needed, being able to clog up the paint on other drives outside of Jokic, and then just leave Aaron Gordon open to shoot threes. Again, Aaron Gordon played very well tonight. He shot three of five from three. But that is not Aaron Gordon's game, and everybody, and I mean everybody, will live and die by Aaron Gordon shooting three-pointers. That is how you stop Denver unless you're the Minnesota Timberwolves, because you just stopped absolutely everything they run. Moving forward in this series, they don't play until Friday. I'm not going to totally count Denver out of this. I'm not going to just throw away everything that I have watched for the past two years with Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray, Michael Porter, Aaron Gordon, and Catavius Caldwell-Pope. Those five guys are really, really tough to beat. I am not going to completely dismiss Denver, but it looks like this series is over. If Anthony Edwards stays this efficient, if Anthony Edwards continues to outplay Nikola Jokic, which I did not think, I didn't have on the bingo card. I had the Minnesota Timberwolves team beating the Denver Nuggets team, possibly, although I did pick Denver in seven, but I knew there was a possibility that Minnesota could win this series, but I did not have... Anthony Edwards just flat out outplaying Nikola Jokic, the future three-time MVP here. I didn't have that on the bingo card, but he has looked fantastic. He's been efficient. He's been making the great decisions. He's been very good defensively as well. He's been leading this team, picking guys up, making sure everybody's locked in. Minnesota has been a fantastic story this year, and they are absolutely dominating the Denver Nuggets. 